Hello, and once again we're going to cover some more scripting. Now, at this point we're going to cover again one of my favorite functions, which is sexy. Now, it's not the most elaborate function, as we're only here to prove a, a point around this particular script. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and rename it, because you should use either invoke or get or other standardized commands when creating functions. And this is just a best practice, so I'm going to go ahead and rename it just quickly. And to be honest, it does sound better as a get sexy. Now, get sexy is a very simple function that tells us it's going to finish once it reaches 10. So nothing complicated there. And the value is being run through a function, and we get an output. So we're going to go ahead and run this. And when it gets to 10, it should stop. Or should it? As you can see, it's not stopping at 10. So we're going to go ahead and manually stop it. And we're going to find out why. And the answer is because it's within the function. It's not going to the script part. So in order to do that, I'm going to change it to a script variable. So it will now run within the script, not just within the function. So this means the value will get passed on to the script. And as you can see, the value reaches 10 very quickly. Now, if you need to pass values across from functions to scripts, you can use script. You can also use local. And you can use global. So these are all depending on your requirements. And based on those, you can use them within the scripts, libraries, or set global values, etc. And from that point of view, it's important to note the difference. If you don't notice the difference, you could end up with your values running into several thousands where you wanted only 10.